Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to explain to you how you can replicate a Microsoft team. Uh, here is a scenario for you. Um, so you're obviously using teams, you have lots of different teams and within a team you have uh, you know, various channels and various tabs as I have in my example right here. And you know, certain settings maybe you configured for the team and you need to do another project, all right? And you kind of want to replicate the same settings, the same channels, the same um, tabs and everything uh, for another project. Uh, so there is a very nice way to do it uh, in Microsoft Teams. And I essentially would like to show you uh, how to achieve this. So uh, what you need to do uh, for something like this is click join or create a new team button, uh, create a team button over here. Now we're not building it from scratch. So uh, we're not going to choose this option. Uh, we're going to create from an existing group or team. Here we go. And in our case, we are creating it from an existing team. All right, and it will give you the list of all the uh, uh, teams you have, um, you know, you are part of, you, you manage. Uh, and here is my migration project. I'm trying to replicate this uh, migration project over here. Uh, here we go. And of course, I need to, uh, um, you know, provide a title uh, for this uh, team. Uh, the, team name, let's just call it uh, SharePoint uh, Migration Project, just something unique. All right, here we go. And of course, you can set the uh, settings and everything uh, over here in terms of privacy. Uh, it keeps the same settings as the team you're copying. So obviously, you can change it to public if you want to. Let's keep it as private. Uh, over here at the bottom, you can actually see, you can actually specify what it is that will be copied. And by default, of course, it copies the channels, uh, but you can, uh, um, it, it will copy uh, tabs and team settings and everything, but you can uncheck certain settings and uh, and in case if you don't want uh, them copied over. Uh, all right. Uh, and in my case, I also want to copy the membership as well. So if it's I have three people, I guess, part of this team, I want to keep the same team. It's going to be the same exact people. So we might as well take uh, advantage of that. And I'm going to uh, hit create. And let's see what happens now. So it's obviously creating a new team uh, for us. And let's see what happens once uh, it is all said and done. Shouldn't take long at all. All right, uh, I guess let's close this uh, button over here. Here it is. Uh, my uh, team, I, I already see it uh, created. Uh, perfect. Let's check it out. Let's keep the uh, additional of uh, other members. Uh, look at this. Here's the team I originally had and still have. Here's the one I created, you know, based on uh, this team. And if you notice, all right, pretty much everything got, got copied over. Now, if you notice, um, look at this. This original team has three channels. This one only has two. How come? Um, you know, I was supposed to copy all the channels. Well, if you notice the management channel right here, it's a private channel, all right? Essentially, it's a channel and private channel is, is essentially a channel that is um, only accessible and seen by uh, the, um, you know, those, um, you know, few people uh, who have access, uh, who have been set up and uh, from in terms of access to that particular channel. Uh, it did not, it was not copied. It, if you notice, it was not copied. The other two channels were, this particular one was not copied and that's on purpose. I assume it just doesn't want to make any assumptions and uh, you know create a private channel. Uh, that's something that you will manually need to do uh, and uh, once the team is created. So bottom line is it, uh, it replicates all the channels. It does not uh, replicate the uh, private channels, all right? Uh, other than that, if you notice, right, I mean, my, uh, you know, general um, channel over here under the original project has all the all these different tabs, everything got copied over, everything got co copied over. If I uh, uh, take a look at the uh, manage the team, same guests, same members, everyone got co co copied over. Again, the only exception is that the private channels were not. Now, another exception uh, um, uh, is, um, or uh, I should say, all the various applications that are part of the team, right? Uh, remember, when we create a new team, uh, we are not just getting a new team. We are getting uh, all the other applications as well. We are getting a calendar and Outlook. We are getting uh, a SharePoint site. 
uh, you know, plan on planner, etc. None of these things, they are all created, but none of them are replicated. So if you uh, also had a, sh well, you, you have a SharePoint site and you configured it and you customized it as, you know, the, the, the site that is tied to the uh, team, uh, the new site is just getting created using the out of the box uh, Microsoft template. It's not going to have any customizations. Uh, essentially, it's just going to be a brand new, you know, team site. So the only things I, that are getting replicated are the team, you know, kind of settings, the tabs, the channels, and uh, you know, various membership and the various team settings that you configured uh, within the Microsoft team. All right. So that's pretty much it. Now, before we end this video, I also want to mention briefly uh, the uh, SharePoint Maven Academy. I recently went live with uh, SharePoint Maven Academy, and essentially, it's a place where you can enroll and access on-demand various SharePoint and Office 365 courses. And I will include the uh, link to the Academy uh, in the description of uh, this video, but it's, it is uh, academy.sharepointmaven.com. And once you navigate to that link, um, you will uh, pretty much be able to access all the different co courses. I have a variety of courses geared towards end users. So if you uh, are just starting with SharePoint, want to learn uh, you know, new skills and uh, uh, just want to learn what SharePoint is all about, uh, as well as some other apps, definitely this is something to consider. I also have more advanced courses for site owners, uh, and I do plan to add additional courses uh, you know, going forward as well. Um, so other than that, uh, that's all I wanted to, to mention uh, today, and hopefully you learned something new today. And uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.